Hi guys, um, this is to walk you guys through your third essay. Um, and in this unit, you guys have read uh, a number of postmodern texts. So basically, these texts took us from post World War II up to where we are now. Um, and you guys have read a number of different sort of ideas and, and viewpoints from authors who are both um, in the sort of canon and then uh, marginalized voices as well. So um, what I want you to do is choose one author from the unit. You're going to write your, your essay over um, a thematic issue related to postmodernism as portrayed in that text. Um, so you could do one or more themes, but things you could think about would be things like identity or multiculturalism, post-war trauma, modern consumer culture, um, outsider identity, gender dynamics, um, social class or racial divide. Um, there's really an endless array of things that you can talk about. So you should focus your analysis on analyzing the text, most importantly, through a discussion of the specific literary devices, structures, tones, etc., all the things that you normally talk about. Um, think also secondarily about the sort of historical or biographical context around, around the work as well. But remember to keep the focus on the text, most importantly. This was a little bit different in that you do have three options on how you can do this essay. Um, you can do the usual essay structure, which in this case is going to be a two and a half to three page essay with the bibliography. You could also do an eight to ten minute video lecture with a bibliography that you upload. Um, you would simply upload the video to YouTube and put the link in there for me to view. So you would essentially be doing what I do in my video lectures, but with uh, your own. Um, and then you could also do a 12 to 10 to 12 slide um, PowerPoint or Prezi with the bibliography. So the reason I'm doing this is because, um, you know, you guys are welcome to express yourself in the way that you are most comfortable, whether that is a video. So if you're particularly good at, at speaking um, and you feel more comfortable doing that, then feel free to make a video. Um, if you want to do a PowerPoint or a Prezi, it's a way to kind of Dem uh, illustrate or, or add to the context of a written format with um, images or or data points or different things. Um, and then, of course, the essay is still open to you if that's what you are most comfortable with. Um, you do need to have two outside sources, so make sure that you choose uh, quality sources and that your essay is, of course, due on Sunday, August 4th at midnight. Um, everything, of course, is standard MLA and standard length. Um, and everything's checked through safe side. So even with the PowerPoint um, and, and the Prezi and different things, the the safe assign tool will still check them for plagiarism. So make sure you're not plagiarizing there. Make sure you are citing in text. Um, and then make sure that you have the, the minimum uh, requirements, whether it's two and a half pages, the uh, eight minutes, or the ten slides. Um, you have a number of authors that you can choose from. So you had some some different uh, poets. You had Robert Warren, Theodore Rothke, and John Updike. You had Sylvia Plath, Ralph Ellison, Erdrich, Cisneros, Tan, and Alexi. Um, the topic and literary choice is yours, so choose carefully. Uh, make sure you look at the work in depth. Use your knowledge of the sort of era and the biographical context to add some context to the work. So for example, you can't write necessarily about Amy Tan's work without bringing up her identity um, as a Chinese-American author. Uh, same thing with, say, Louise Erdrich or Sherbin Alexi. Um, think about maybe the, their gendered situation or their culturalism, multiculturalism, um, or you know any number of factors uh, that can influence the works. So you're going to be assessed on making sure you have a good um, argumentative thesis statement, good close analysis of the works and their major concepts, lots of evidence from the text um, and from your secondary source, proper page length ML or, or length of presentation, MLA, and proper number of um, sources and citations, and then a fully developed structure. So regardless of whichever format you choose to do, it does still need to have an introduction with a thesis statement, main ideas with evidence, and a conclusion. And then care for a clear organization across thematic concepts. Um, a couple of notes. If you do the, the video lecture, make sure that you do kind of organize your thoughts ahead of time because it is very easy. Um, once you start making videos, they tend to go on much longer than, than you actually expect them to. Um, 
And if you do a PowerPoint of Prezi, I do still expect to see a relatively same amount of text on these. I don't want to just see one or two bullets with a few words. Um, I want to make sure that you are still putting in context the, the actual literary analysis. It's just that this is a different format. So you're using slides and bullets and um, maybe some illustrations or some images to help enhance um, your presentation. But I do want to make sure that you still put in the same, relatively same amount, um, a two and a half page, you know, about a paragraph per, per slide is, is pretty good. Um, when you upload these, you want to make sure if you're not doing your S, uh, the regular essay, if you do the video lecture, the YouTube link, you're going to upload the YouTube link in the comment section. Um, you need to make sure that it's public facing and you need to double check after you submit it that you click on it and that it does work because if there's nothing to grade, um, nothing that, that goes that goes to a link that you know doesn't work, um, then I have nothing to grade and uh, there's no turnaround time. Um, if you do the same thing with the PowerPoint, you'll you'll be able to see it render just the way you do an essay. So make sure that it uploads correctly. Um, same thing. If there's nothing there, I have nothing to grade. And then with the Prezi link, the same as the YouTube. Make sure that it's public and that it does work after you submit it. Double click it and make sure that it opens. Um, you'll need to upload a regular bibliography um, regardless of whichever format you choose to do as well. So. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Otherwise, um, I look forward to seeing uh, all of your different uh, essays.